So, everybody's mad at Logan Paul this week. And in case you don't know who he is, Logan Paul is one of the most famous, successful YouTube creators on the internet. And uh, to just to give you an idea of how successful and popular he is, I mean, he has millions of subscribers. His brother, Jake Paul, who's as popular as he is, is, is like a, I think he's got like a regular gig or had a regular gig on the Disney Channel. Um, so these guys are a big deal. Um, even if you haven't heard of them, because maybe you're not that into YouTube and YouTube culture, uh, Logan Paul is like honestly maybe one of the most famous people in the world. Um, big celebrity because of the popularity of his YouTube channel. Well, he's gotten in all kinds of trouble this week for making what I think is a very daring and very interesting video. Logan Paul went to what is apparently called a suicide forest in Japan, a place that is a known spot for people to go into this forest and commit suicide. I guess someone did it and... Then someone else did it, and then it just became like a thing, you know. Well, go. This is if you want to commit suicide, go to this forest, and commit suicide here. And you know, in that, in that way, instead, of, it makes a suicide a little bit less lonely. I think, you know, just off the top of my head, uh, thinking about it, it, I guess in in a way, now you're like part of a movement or something when you go commit suicide in the suicide forest, um, where a bunch of other people already have. And probably more people will. It's very fascinating. Um, I, I'm, I've heard that Japan has a high suicide rate, unusually high suicide rate for a country as affluent as Japan. So compared to all the other countries that are on level with Japan, it's, it's unusually high in suicide rate. And uh, that the culture there generally has a big, a big obsession with suicide. So Jake Paul, sorry, Logan Paul goes to this suicide forest, takes uh, his friends with him and uh, some video cameras, and is going to go and make a video of going through the suicide forest. And he ends up finding an actual body of someone who'd recently committing suicide. No sooner than they take a few paces into the forest they come up on a body real quick and the video has been taken down from youtube so you'll have to you know that you've got to find it somehow but it is a it is actually to me just good television it's amazing now people are going to say i'm callous and heartless and insensitive for saying that but hear me out that's what everyone's saying about this guy logan paul is that he's just completely insensitive and disrespectful about suicide victims and think of all the people who watch his channel who might have a family member who's committed suicide and he's being insensitive to them i don't know like maybe he's drawing attention to to them like maybe he's like he's giving he's paying them homage more than anybody and respecting them more than anybody by talking about it uh because if you watch the video i just don't see what he did wrong I think all the people piling on to hate him this week, I think, first of all, the Pauls are easy to hate on. They're fun to hate on. So people do it. Um, They're just an easy target to begin with. You just hate on them because they're bros and they're obnoxious. Hate on them because they're successful and because people like them and it seems inexplicable. Well, these guys are just stupid. They're just goobers. Why why are they so successful? Why are they why does anybody like them? So they're really easy to hate on for their success. Then on top of it, with this, it's just easy for everybody to jump onto the outrage bandwagon and um feed off the outrage. But if you actually watch the video, I, I just don't really think it's that disrespectful. Um it's very real. It's definitely pretty raw and real. I mean, okay, to begin with, it's fascinating to me that there's a suicide forest. I've never heard those two words together, suicide forest, before this. 
So, first of all, he's making the entire world aware of something that's happening in Japan, that there's a suicide forest in Japan. Like, that's news. That's, that is interesting in itself. It's remarkable. There's a suicide forest in Japan. And he, he decides he's going to go there and take his friends and bring a, a video camera and film and make kind of a funny video, an interesting video of them going through this forest that's known for a, as a place where people commit suicide. It is fascinating. I mean, it's just a fascinating subject that people, to me, suicide is fascinating to begin with because I'm not suicidal and I don't understand. I, it's hard for most people, I think, to understand going against every instinct in you which is to keep living i mean going against your instincts to such an extreme degree it is fascinating and it is tragic and so it's fascinating because it's tragic and they're getting out there and doing real journalism here man like these guys are getting up off the couch and they're going out into the world and they're trying to bring back some media. And then it turns out they actually, dude, they go to the suicide forest and they find a dead body when they go out there. Like, it's amazing. Like, it's a great scoop, right? In a way. And again, it's like you're going to say, well, this is exploitive. This is insensitive. How can you call it that? You're just trying to talk about profiting. You're just talking about, you know, um, what's the word, you know, uh, just kind of, uh, you know, what am I trying to say here? Um, basically just kind of gawking. That's the word I want. Like you're gawking at somebody's death tragedy, but no, it is fascinating. And it's not exploitive to talk to if people are interested in a subject telling them about it is not exploitive and i and you know i i find it curiously suspicious that all of the people who are piling on to logan paul about this and saying that he's exploiting a tragedy to get views uh that they're all getting quite a lot of views on uh, some of the critique videos i've seen where they're just lambasting him just bitching him out for this. They're getting millions of views and it's like, well, if you're saying that the you, we should respect the families and everything, why are you drawing more attention to this individual suicide? You know, why are you just, you know, if if you really meant all that shit, you would that bullshit that's coming out of your mouth, you would just you would just remain silent about it and not spread the story around even more. So you, you're doing the exact same thing while criticizing him for doing what you're doing. So I think all of his critics are frankly hypocrites, complete and utter hypocrites. They are parasites that are feeding on his really great idea to go out into the world and bring us back a story of something incredibly bizarre and interesting and sad that he found and show us his real experience to it. Dude, and he had the brass balls to publish it too. Everyone's saying, once you found the body, you shouldn't have published it. Once you found the body, you just turn the cameras off. And he had the brass balls just to put it up on YouTube and show us his live, surprised reaction to going into this suicide forest and seeing a dead body, and I don't think it was disrespectful, and people say, well, he laughed, but he wasn't laughing like in a callous making fun of the guy for being dead or for committing suicide kind of way. It wasn't that kind of laugh. It was definitely just a, I, I can't, this is so crazy, and my mind is so blown, and I'm so surprised and can't believe how extreme this situation is that I find myself in. We were just kind of joking about it, you know, and then we go out and really find a dead body. You know, he's la a lot of people laugh when they're nervous. Like, that's not an uncommon characteristic is to, to laugh or smile a little bit when you're nervous. And, you know, I can't imagine a situation that, you know, I that would make you more nervous than finding a dead body i mean that's that's about as real as it gets and so 
I just don't see, I just do not see the disrespect in it um, at all. And the, I don't think there's anything inappropriate about the fascination. At least he's telling the world this guy's story. Like, at least, it, like, if anything, I feel like he's respecting him more than anybody. Like, the guy went, obviously went and, and it, it obviously felt strongly enough about it existence that he went and killed himself against every last possible instinct that we all have in us. I mean, just on a basic animal level, you you pull back from something that even slightly hurts you. And then on like a spiritual level, like everything in human culture is, is about is about moving forward and 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 persevering and overcoming and not giving up. And like, so like everything you fuck your fuck my culture, my civilization, my ancestors, the sacrifices my parents made, my grandparents, every ancestor all the way back to the beginning of time when you've got little one celled organisms fucking themselves in the mud for me to be here. Fuck all of them. I am sick of this shit. I am. I am doing it. I'm killing myself. And not only that. Not only fuck all the culture, all of the, you know, all of the sacrifice, everything, but overcoming your own animal instinct to pull away from a paper cut, you know, and doing it to yourself, delivering a fatal blow to yourself. I mean, it's, it is incredibly fascinating. There's nothing inappropriate about being fascinated by that. And Frankly, telling the guy's story, if anything, is pays homage to him. He he didn't laugh at him or criticize him in any kind of demeaning way, and I just don't see the problem. Frankly, I don't see the problem. I think, I think the guys, I think the young man's doing a great, did a great thing, had a really great idea, got lucky, and and found and like found an actual dead body, got a great scoop out of this man. And got a great video, man. It is inc- it is incredibly entertaining and inc- it, and just mind blowing to watch. You watch it and you're just like, wow, 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 wow. It's so real. It's so much more real than half the bullshit out there. I think they did a great job. Uh, kudos to them for putting out this video. And um, all of the haters, man. You're just leeches and parasites willing to profit from this story that wasn't even your idea, that you didn't have the balls to go out and do and then put up and never would have probably, willing to get all the traffic from it that you hate him for getting. You're hating on him for getting. When he doesn't need any more traffic or subscribers, he's doing it for the fans. I mean, he doesn't need any more. He's just doing it because for the love of the game, man, he's trying to make great content, great videos for people to watch. He gets out there and wags his dick, does something wonderful, does something interesting and creative, provocative, clearly right. And you guys just leech off the traffic while criticizing him for doing anything for views and exploit what you say is a tragedy that no one should exploit. So, fuck all his critics. Logan Paul, if you're listening, fuck your critics, man. Don't listen to them. You're doing a fantastic job. Keep moving forward. I'm proud of you. Frankly, I I, I had fun hating on you in good fun with uh, Ethan and Gila. Because they all hate on you guys from time to time, and we all get a good laugh out of it. So, it's easy, you know, and I I was never really a hater. But, you know, just kind of laugh and listen to them bust your balls a little bit and think it's pretty funny. But, I've got to say, listening to these videos of people actually hating on you over some bullshit reasons has made me a fan. I've got to say I'm a fan now, and uh, and I'll be watching what you put out next.